Today, I'm going to show you a weather station project I built with the Arduino Uno microcontroller. This project measures temperature, pressure, humidity, wind speed, and wind direction. It also keeps track of the high and low values of temperature and pressure for 24 hours. And all of this is displayed on two LCD screens. So let's go step by step and see how everything works. For this project, I used an Arduino Uno as the main controller, a BME280 sensor that measures temperature, pressure, and humidity, a wind speed sensor which gives an analog voltage output based on how fast the wind is blowing. The faster the cups spin, the higher the voltage, and we can convert that into meters per second or kilometers per hour. A wind direction sensor, and finally, two 20 by 4 LCD displays, one for temperature, pressure, and humidity, and the other for wind data. Now let's see what shows up on the screen. On the first LCD, you get temperature in Celsius along with the daily high and low. Pressure converted to sea level pressure along with high and low values. The pressure shown on the display is not the pressure measured at the station from your BME280 sensor. Instead, it's station pressure converted to what the pressure would be at sea level. The reason this is done is because different weather stations are located at different altitudes. Higher altitudes always means lower measured pressure. So if we only used a raw station pressure, we couldn't compare one station with another. By converting to sea level pressure, all stations are normalized to the same reference point. That way, you can compare readings between stations no matter if one is on a mountain and the other is near the ocean. For this calculation to work properly, you need to put your station's altitude in the code. For me, it is 410 meters, so make sure to change it for your station's altitude. The last thing shown is the current humidity percentage. The humidity I displayed is relative humidity, which means percentage of how much water vapor is in the air compared to the maximum it could hold at that temperature. This is the normal humidity percentage people refer to. Note, the checks for temperature, humidity, and pressure are done every 15 minutes for a total of 96 times per day. On the second LCD, you get current wind speed in kilometers per hour, calculated from the voltage we get from the sensor. A five minute average wind speed, which gives a more stable reading of wind conditions. This approach is more accurate and this is how real weather stations calculate wind speed. We also see on the screen wind direction and compass letters, like north, northeast, east, and so on. Note. For wind direction, I don't calculate a normal average as I do with wind speed. Instead, I use what's called the mode in statistics, the most common direction in the last minute of wind readings. For example, if in the past minute there were 45 readings of north and 15 of northeast, the LCD will display north. Unlike temperature, humidity, and pressure, the readings for wind speed and wind direction are done every second. In the code, I included an offset for wind speed. This is because my sensor does not give zero volts when the cups are not moving. So if when the cups are not moving, there is a voltage, for example, 0 0.05 volts, you need to subtract that amount from the calculation. This is called the offset. Beware that you need to test your wind speed sensor and see what the default voltage is when the cups are not moving and subtract that from the calculation.